Hello, good morning, friends. God, Ooh, he's amazing. He woke us up again. Let's give him thanks, my friends, every single day of our lives. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy. His mercy endures forever. Praise the Lord. We can go again to our world, preach the gospel to every creature. It's our job, guys. Let's get on here and let people know about Jesus. Every single day of our lives, let's let people know. So many people around the world are hungry for the word of God. We all need to be hungry for the word of God because the word of God is quick and powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even unto the divine and son of the soul and the spirit, the joints, and the marrow, and is that a sermon of the thoughts and intents of the heart, my friends, all for Jesus. Because this morning we're going to be in Ruth, the last book of Ruth, because Boaz married Ruth. We, you know, I know we, we've been talking about it the past four chapters, but yeah, this chapter he married her. Get a pole for a second, for station. Lord Jesus is in control. He is in control of everything. Go to Ruth 4 13. Now please turn that with me. So Boaz took Ruth and she was his wife. And when he went into, in into her, the Lord gave her conception and she bare. A son. Okay, you gotta please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, help us all understand that you are the way, the truth, and the life. No one, no one cometh by the, by the Father, to the Father, but by you, Lord. You are the answer, Lord. You are the, you are the one, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, which was and which is and which is to come. The Almighty, as you say in John 14, 6 and Revelation 1, 8, help us all understand your word, Lord. Help us read it, learn it, love it, live it, and share it, Lord. Help us share your word every single day of our life. Because the word of God was made flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. You are the word, Lord. Help us, Jesus, share your word. Help us share the good news of you every single day of our life, Lord. As we're coming up on Christmas, and Lord, we celebrate your birthday. Thank you so much, Lord. Even though I think you was born in June and July, but still, we help celebrate you your, your birthday every day, Lord. Help us seek this. Lord, in your strength every single day of our life, Lord. As you say in First Chronicles 16, 11, seek the Lord in your strength, seek your face continually. As, we, as you say, Lord, please help us and guide us. Dread us all heavy here this morning as I preach. Thank you so much. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends. Yes, sir. Mr. Samuel, good morning to you, buddy. Hold one more second. <clears throat> because Ruth... Where it says, oh, so Baz took Ruth and she was his wife. Blessed be the Lord. You go to number 14. Blessed be the Lord. And the woman said unto Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, which hath not left thee this day without a kinsman, that his name may be, fam may be, may be famous in Israel. We need to be famous. We need to not make us famous. We need to make Jesus famous. Let's live for Jesus, because his name will be famous. Boaz's name will be famous, but it's, it, it, it's all about Jesus. And the woman said unto Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, which hath not left thee this day without a kinsman, that his name may be famous in Israel, and he shall be unto thee a restorer of thy life, and a nourisher, talking about Jesus, and he shall be a, a the restorer of thy life, and a nourisher of thine old age, for thy daughter and all which loveth thee, which is better to thee than seven sons hath borne him. See, right there, she she has the baby. The baby on the way. I was talking about they got they married and they're going to have a little baby. Oh, so are we trying to make make, make Jesus famous, my friends? Are we, are we trying to make Jesus famous? Because we are to, uh, because we're going to be judged on what we're doing, what we do after we're Christian. Are we a Christian just keeping it to ourselves? Are we sharing the word of God? Everywhere we go, because so then every one of them shall give an account of himself to God. We're all going to give an account of what we've done after we become a Christian to God. Or what, what, what are you going to say? Are you going to say, oh, yeah, that was just a Sunday and Wednesday thing. I only talked about Jesus. Then. Well, no, we need to talk about him every day of our lives, guys, because the clock is ticking. No one knows the day nor the hour of his return. The day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night, says like in Matthew 24, 36, 1 Thessalonians 5, 2. We all need Jesus, my friends. We all need Jesus. 
because the father, the father of Jesse and David and the, the grandson of David was born. His name was Obed. He was in, in this, in this chapter, the baby, when, when they got, they got married, they had a baby. It was 16 to 17. And Naomi took the child and laid it in her bosom and became nurse unto it. I guess she had a bottle or whatnot because I, I don't believe a grandmother can breastfeed a baby. And the women, her neighbor, gave it a name saying, There is a son born to Naomi, and they called his name Obed. He is the father of Jesse and the father of David. And, uh, of the grand, the granddad of David, I believe. When he, when he, King David's granddad was born, his name was Obed. Okay, when when Ruth and Boaz got married, they conceived and had a child. Because it's all possible. All things are possible with God. What you, you, we 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 can have babies now since born. I mean, God is powerful. It's amazing. This our whole life is God is amazing. Okay, He is an awesome God. We can't do this on our own without Jesus. Without Him, we are nothing, as it says in John fifteen five. I'm gonna turn there real quick. That's it. I am the vine, ye are the branches. Without me, ye can't do nothing. Let's listen to that real quick. I quoted it, but the Lord just popped that in my mind. I am the, here we are right here, 15, 5. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I am him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Without him, we can do nothing. He is the answer, okay? In Matthew 19, 26, where everything is possible with God. Matthew 19, 26, we're going to turn there real quick. Because everything is possible with God. It says, But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. It's in Matthew 19, 26. And we're going to first we're going to Luke 1, 37. Because is there not anything? But nothing shall be impossible. We'll go right here where it says, For with God nothing shall be impossible impossible he is the answer again my friends he is the answer he is our awesome god <clears throat> he is so awesome let's listen to more instruction in proverbs proverbs 19 go to proverbs 19 when he listen to his instructions my friends proverbs 19 19 20 then 27 when he to listen to his instructions Because hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. And number 27. Seize, my son, to hear the instruction that causes to err from the words of knowledge. We need to stop listening to the world's instruction. We need to listen, listen to Jesus. We need to get into the Bible. Read it, learn it, love it, live it, and share it. He is the answer, my friends. His name is Jesus Christ. Well, God bless y'all. Let me get on to work. Tomorrow we're going to be in the book of 1 Samuel. We're going to be in 1 Samuel. Here's our awesome guy. Let's listen to his instructions. Let me read that one more time. 19, 20, and 27. Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. 27. Seize, my son, to hear the instruction that causes to err from the words of knowledge. Let's stop listening to all these instructions of the world against Jesus. But be of good cheer, my friends. As he says in John 16, 33, I have overcome the world. His name is Jesus. He is the answer. Let's, let's, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, help us all understand that you're the answer, Lord, and help us not get away from your instructions, Lord. Help us to read it, learn it, love it, live it, and share it, Lord. Help us to dig in, try not to sin, Lord Jesus. Please help us all this morning. Help me here this morning as I sing. Find how awesome you are. Please help my boys this morning and everything they're doing, Lord Jesus. Please help them have a good day at school. College for please I'm not sure miss my kids for please help help us all. Help us get back together soon, Lord, this Christmas. Please help me, Lord Jesus. I miss them. Help everybody in this whole entire world, Lord. Help us all seek you and seek the Lord in your strength, seek your face continually, as you say in first Chronicles sixteen eleven, as I mentioned a little earlier. Please help me hear the same. Thank you so much. In your name we pray. 
Amen. Because our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom and power and love. Our God is an awesome God. Who our God? Is an awesome God. He reigns. That right there is a hockey mask. It's not that, that is a hockey mask. You want to? Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom and power and love. Our God is an awesome God. Who our God is an awesome God. Who our God is an awesome God. Right there, Birmingham. This is this red apple. This was the uh, Birmingham hockey team. The Bulls. This is the Bulls. This is why they look like why the hockey man look like that. Well, God bless y'all. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Since his name is Jesus. Let's praise his holy name every day. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Sorry, little curly. Bye-bye.